Hi everyone, Peter here. Snagit 2019 was just released a few days ago. And in my opinion, this was a huge step forward, especially working with the Snagit editor and using stamps. Using super stamps in Snagit now works better than ever before. In this video, I'll share a little bit about how super stamps works with Snagit and more specifically, the just released Snagit version 2019. The first thing worth noting is that super stamps version 6 now comes with an installer. Previously, you could install super stamps simply by copying the stamps folders into your Snagit stamps library. But with this new version, there is an installer included. So once you have unzipped your downloadable file, you'll see the following directory. You'll find the Snagit installer in this folder called stamps for Snagit installation and in that folder you see the installer file. Just double click that file and the super stamps installation will start. We have also included another folder that's worth mentioning called stamps for use in other software. In this folder you'll find a second copy of super stamps and if you don't want to work from Snagit when working with other applications then you can easily just drag and drop stamps from this folder into such apps as PowerPoint, Outlook, Gmail, Camtasia and most other office graphics video and presentation software. I'll cover how to use super stamps with other software in another video. So let's head over to the Snagit editor and see the new functionality when using Superstamps in Snagit 2019. After installation, Superstamps appears as a numbered folder in the stamp section in the toolbar. If you don't see the stamps icon, you will find it under the more section. When you open up the stamps tool, your stamps will appear on the right hand side of the editor. Superstamps is located in numbered folders ranging from 0 to 199. With the new Super Stamps version 6, you will have access to more than 5,000 stamps in many, many different categories. One of the amazing new features in Snagit 2019 is that the stamp section is now searchable. And I think this will really, really help you find the stamps you need for your projects much faster and easier than before. Let's do some tests of the search engine. I would like to find a suitable avatar for my screenshot. I simply write in avatar in the search box in the stamp tool and press return. After that, you'll see the results right under the search box. The folder you're in is also mentioned under the search box, but the results will be displayed from the entire stamps catalog, both from Super Stamps and the native Snagit stamps that came with Snagit. Let's create a new blank capture and place an avatar. Stamps can be resized, change dimensions, you can edit opacity, mirror them, place a shadow and edit the properties of a shadow. Let me show you another trick while we're at it. You can't directly apply the effects to a stamp uh, yet, but to get around this, just place the stamp that you'd like to use in a new capture window with a transparent background. Then you'll need to flatten the new capture and after that step, you can apply many of the available effects. Let's play around with the color adjustments, for example. The results you get from the searches are based on the tags that we've given each stamp. And we've spent a lot of time tagging the stamps, but it is impossible to cover all possible keywords. So a basic overview of the included stamps is also helpful when you want to find the right stamp. That's why we have numbered and named all stamps in Super Stamp 6. All stamps are grouped and categorized based on styles. In the first folders called 000 Super Stamps V6 Introduction, we have also included a number of help files. You can place these stamps like any other and then get a bit of additional overview of included stamps. Let me place the third stamp in that catalog here. This is an overview of all included stamps with their name and number. The first 20 or so folders are new and updated stamps. 20 to 30 are focused on numbers, 30 to 40 are flags, arrows and other infographic related stamps, 40 to 50 are doodle graphics, folders 50 to 70 are new and recently released icon related stamps, 80 to 90 are overlays backgrounds and under 100 to 112 we collected our legacy stamps and under 190 to 199 you find various bonus and showcases of other Superstamps collections. 
let me summarize a little bit about why Superstamps and Snagit now work so well together. Superstamps version 6 now comes with a single installer. Superstamps version 6 is highly structured and organized. In Snagit 2019 you can now use the stamp search function to locate the stamp you need quickly and easily. We've done a lot of work tagging the stamps so you can easily find suitable stamps for your project. We've included more than 5,000 stamps, so you should be able to find a suitable stamp for a wide variety of different projects. I hope this video gave you a little bit of overview of the new Superstamps version 6 and all the useful stamps we've included. If you would like to see more about what's new in Superstamps 6, check out our version 6 new stamps video. You can also see more about Superstamps on bit.ly slash Superstamps. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you find this video useful. 